Hey, so let me clear some things in the air. So let's have a friendly conversation. I'm in the mood for a friendly conversation, so let me let y'all know a few things about me. So it was brought to my attention that some people have insecurities when it comes to being around me or become a boyfriend of mine. And I wanted to let people know that there's no need to feel insecure about a damn thing. There's no need to feel like you're not good enough for me. The reason why I'm putting this out there because... I like I say, y'all have failed to realize that I am an empath and I am a bit of sight of a psychic. Y'all don't have to believe anything that I say, but the proof is in the pudding because each and every time I have a vision or a spiritual reading, I always get the same results coming up over and over and over, but by more than one person. So I'm not speaking just to one person. I'm speaking to a lot of people out there that you are good enough in your own way. Everybody's good enough in their own way for everybody else. There's no such thing as a person not good enough for another person unless you've proven to that person that you're not good enough. I always say that, and this is how I do all of my relationships and friendships. You're you're innocent until proven guilty so that means there is no judgment there's no cutting people off or writing people off the first meeting I'm gonna talk to you get to know you hang out with you and try to have fun with you and see if we vibe and click that's how I do with everybody else this is why I am so friendly and easy to gravitate because everybody sees that I am that type of person that does talk to you and get to know you before I write you off. I don't be quick to judge or be quick to talk shit or put you down and make you feel low. That's not me. I'm a very nice person. And this is besides being a cancer. This is just me being me because I grew up in a humble household. I grew up where love is explosive everywhere. Like we show nothing but love. We show nothing but care. And I would never write nobody off. So with that being said, please don't assume anything about me and think you know that or because you don't have certain things that I want that you're not good enough for me. I'm not, like, okay, call me a piggy person if you want, but every person has a right to want what they want. Nobody could fault you for want, wanting what you want in a person. But don't sit here and make it seem like I'm about that gold digging lifestyle or you got to have deep pockets and a big penis for me to date you because it's not like that so i just want to put it out there that i am nothing like these other females out here i am not materialistic i'm not conceited um i'm not picky in a bad way i do like what i like but when i talk about like what i like it has nothing to do with financial stability even though you should be stable in a financial aspect but I want you to be more emotionally stable and mentally stable than anything else. You have to meet my needs, meaning you have to be able to be my ride or die. You got to be there for me through everything. If you could stick it out with me through thick and thin, you're my type of man. If you are the person who can honestly have disagreements and still want to be with me at the end of the day, you're my type of guy. Somebody who could support me and back me up. Somebody who's going to be in my corner regardless, okay? Somebody who's going to always make me laugh when times is hard and I'm crying. Somebody that's going to be there for me and make me feel even better about myself when I'm feeling low. Somebody who is family material as well as husband material. Somebody who's going to show me extreme amounts of love care and affection and never get sick and tired of it who's not afraid to be vulnerable with me so th these are the type of things that i like in a man somebody who could carry a mature conversation at that and who could respect my needs and respect my mind and my heart and my body decisions is my is like decisions are 